Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki. So definitely like, definitely up there for one of the best fights in all of Naruto, I'd say. Um, animation wise anyway, like top quality. So thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's tricky now because we got like uh, three characters and they're interacting with one another. So like Momoshiki has Naruto and Sasuke's fists. So you really need to take your time with this. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand. Okay, so we'll step with Momoshiki in the center and then build out and do Naruto and Sasuke. And we can kind of see, there's not a lot of detail in Naruto and Sasuke, so it kind of makes it easier for us. So let's start with our boy Momoshiki. So let's go. So eyes, right? Center point of my page about here. It's where his nose be, up, over, and yeah, so we'll just go across. Diagonal. And then we go down and around. So quite slender eyes. And then we can see just those big golden eyes inside there like that. He's kind of looking down. Then the other side, go across. Similar sort of shape down into here. Remember eyes don't have to be perfectly symmetrical or anything. You're about eye distance across, sorry I forgot to mention. The width of his eye will fit nearly just inside here. So that's your distance you want to go for. Approximately. And then we got his iris inside there. So it's just like a big golden disc, his eyes. So you don't have to do a pupil or anything like that. And then he has his third eye, just up here. All right, so we might as well draw that in while we're doing the eyes. And this one has like a golden renegade or something, and like lines coming around it. Because it's like growing out of his head. And then it has a pupil there, and then some circles inside. This kind of thing. And goes around like this. Like so. So then he's got that mask like around. So his nostrils, we'll do his nostrils first. His nostrils there like so. And then he's got like an arrow pointing down on his nose here, right? Right in the middle. Like so. And then this will come around underneath his eye. And then he's got like these, they look like drips, you know, coming down. So he's like, comes across like so. Like this kind of stuff, right? Down to there. Okay, and same on this side kind of thing. It's not symmetrical anyway. It comes down in different ways on each side. Right, kind of like that. Now we can't see it, his chin, right? So his arm is covering it. So if we just draw a line across for his arm right here. Okay. It's like his cloak, right? And his chin is down here somewhere. So we, and we can just see the corner of his mouth. So like he's, he's kind of smiling, having a bit of fun, fighting Naruto and Sasuke. So his mouth is kind of open there, and then we can see some teeth. Like that. And then maybe bottom teeth or something there. Right. So his jaw will come up the side of his face here from his arm. Like that. I think he's got another black spike just there. And then, so, so then he has sideburns, right? So he's got like a sideburn here. One's longer than the other, but I'll even them up. Just keep, keep everything looking good. And then, uh, side of his face comes down here. 
think so. So that's like more that black stuff. He's all dark on the top. And then his sideburn becomes his hairline. Like this. Like there's a V in the middle. So like how high up you want to go. I to hairline. About the same as I to where the bottom of his mouth would be. See that? So like I to just underneath his top lip here. About the same as eyes to the hairline. So just so you don't make his forehead too big. His hairline going across. He also has some like lines around his eyes just down here. Anyway, his ear. Ear comes around like so. Down to his jaw, joins it just there. And then bones and ligaments inside. The easiest way, the letter J. You could, you could leave it like that if you wanted, or add more detail. It's really up to you. Next one. Ooh, here. So, and then letter J. And right, so um, so we can't really do his hair until we like draw everything else. Well, we can do some of his hair. Let's see. Now we'll finish his arm. So, because it's like the main thing in the scene, really. Um, so it's like this cloak of his dangles down real long. Right, and then his wrist sticks across here. And then the bottom of his wrist is here. And then the other side of the cloak comes down like so. And then we got a hand here. So take your time with hands, they're tricky. So we'll go up like so. In to there, our knuckle. knuckle up down like so and then next knuckle here and it kind of comes down to a like sharp nail and then goes around up to there down like so he's got a hold of Sasuke's knuckle so it goes around that and down from the palm of his hand and you can see like the inside of Sasuke's knuckle like here there should be another knuckle about here and then like the bottom of his hand comes around up and touches Sasuke's about here Right, so can we, we can see, so shoulder lines and stuff. So just from say his earlobe, right? We can see like his neckline, clothing comes around here. And his shoulder goes into there. And he's got like black lines on his shoulder as well something like that and then his shoulder would come down around Sasuke's fist so I guess we gotta draw Sasuke's fist oh, I thought I could do that last but no it looks like we have to draw Sasuke's fist right so Sasuke's the knuckle index finger sort of here and this will go in towards his sword And then we got like knuckle lines that come across there. Like so. And then down. And then like the top of his glove, like so. And then it's the bottom of his sword. 
just come straight down here. You could use a ruler for this if you want to. And then curves around the bottom. And the top. It's got like a golden brass section on the bottom. And then it's like strapping coming across the handle. Like so. And then the back of his wrist comes out here and then into there. And then you got a sleeve. here and we'll stop this about here because I'd say that's where his just his head will start so we'll just stop that here and we'll come back to it after okay so Momoshki's other hand is over here holding um, Naruto right so it's gonna it's lower so it's like down here Yeah, so quite a bit lower, so. It comes out around there. And the top part comes out and up there. So this comes to knuckles now, so. So there's a knuckle here, like so, and then it goes sort of down, and it goes behind another knuckle, which is here, and then a finger, sort of the bottom of the finger there, and this comes around to a pointy nail, and the next one out around. down to a pointy nail curves around this is his little finger and then we bring it down around here down for the palm of his hand and then we may have another knuckle there right so naruto's fist goes in here so that's the top this is like the bottom of it, like you can see sort of a curve line around the bottom maybe for his thumb. And then another line coming this way. And then his little finger goes in, down, around, into there. And then we've got like curve lines and stuff for like his little finger. Just sort of wrapped in around there. So, and his sleeve starts just here. And he's got like strapping on his on his wrists. So like all this kind of sort of lines like that, right? Basically. Okay, so we can see rest of Muskie's shoulders and clothing, right? So shoulder comes out. So once you've got like that, you can build around it, right? It's just the Naruto and Sasuke are out here. So you just got to finish with Muskie's sort of hair and stuff. So Shoulder, same as kind of this area. So we got like this black tattooed area coming down here. Like that, and then he's got like massive big hair. So bumping out like this way. And then those two horns, right? So the horns are kind of coming out of his hair. So the easiest way to do this, so you do like a 
like a sort of a V sort of shape here. And then the horn will come out and go up and off my page. And that will go up and off my page there. And then he has those patterns again. Square, rectangular, black sort of things. Like what's on his face. Going up his horn. And then the horn on the other side. Um, similar sort of thing here. Like so, and those square patterns. Like um, skyscrapers, you know? <laughs> like a Cityscape, and then hairlines, texture lines, all the way going up around his head, and some more hair then coming down the back. So and Sasuke's sword. So the rest of the Sasuke sword is like here. So just like, oop, wait, no, it's like yeah, it's the edge of his sword there. And there's another line here. So it kind of goes down that way. And then more Mamoshki hair coming off this way, coming down around behind Sasuke's uh, face and stuff. But we'll, we'll just draw the main sort of parts in. Mm -hmm. Like so, curve line here. And then that goes behind Sasuke's head, and then this comes back into like here somewhere. And another line there. And the hair goes off that way. And then the hair on this side. So it goes behind Naruto's arm. So his arm sort of flows in nearly off the page. And then Omoshki's hair. We go back up like so. More hair, lots of hair. Not a lot of texture lines, just sort of flowing, sort of big solid blocks of grey hair. And then bring it down around to here, there, boop, boop, and see another strand of hair or something here. And I think we can see his other hanging down sort of shoulder area. there so it's like this baggy part of his sleeve on the other side right um we do sasuke so we can't really see his face we can just see like his hair right so it comes down spikes down here and he's got that long one that the uchiha have and this comes up then around his ear Like so, like three spikes and an ear. And then this spike comes all the way up to the top of his head, around the back. It comes off the spikes at the back, right? They go off my page, I could, can't fit them in. A few more room, you can just spike them back that way. So, and then this one goes in behind his ear, just up here. Like so, and then jawbone, sort of there. And his neck sort of comes out here and joins his jaw or chin. And we can see just his nose sticking out there. And then some ear lines and ligament lines and stuff. 
like so, and then a J shape, get us started, and then we build off the J, like that. Front of his clothing comes down here. So, front comes down to there, pump it out, front of his body, so it comes down that way, he's leaning in with a punch, and his shoulder line, just two curved lines there. Maybe like top of his collar or something here. Um, right, that's basically Sasuke. So Naruto then, a bit more, we can see Naruto's face, so he's a bit more complicated, right? So, so we can see his shoulder just coming off this way, and then like his collar coming up down that way. And again, this goes off, off my page, you couldn't fit their whole heads in, just to fit everything in, so. So that's Naruto's sort of arm, shoulder sort of area, right? So I always like to do noses sort of when they're in profile, right? So we'll go just here above his arm, sort of in line with Sasuke's nose, right? So it kind of goes seven, like a seven upside down or like a letter L backwards, you know, down and in. And then his top lip just goes down behind his arm, okay? His brow then kicks out like this, and up. And this goes all the way up to like there. So when you know where someone's brow is, you know where their eyebrow is gonna be. Because the eyebrow comes out from there. We just have a tick, sort of like that, right? And then his eyelashes just here. So, top eyelid curves around, bottom eyelid, and like so, and then his cheek marks, and remember if I go too fast then I just hit pause, I just don't want the videos to be too long, they're too long as it is, <laughs> um, but hey, we're just drawn, so spiky hairlines, Coming down like so. Short spikes, and then we have his ear around there. So like proportion wise, like for faces like this, I'd say, I'd say like eyebrows to hairline, about the same as eyebrows to like where his mouth would start, right? So just for, if you're looking for a proportion to work off. And then we can do, Rest of his hair spikes coming around his head. And of course, they go all the way around with the back of his neck back out here, but I've no, I've no room for that. And then you just ear lines, again, letter J. And then you just build off the letter J, adding stuff around it as much as you feel like you need. Some people just do the letter J and that's fine. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And then line down here, line down here, and then here, and then here. There should be maybe another one there. So they're like black lines. And then his chest just comes off this way. I think that that's everything. So basically that's how to draw oh it's not everything missed the line some of Momoshi's hair up here just make sure I got all his hair yeah I think that's everything okay it'll do anyway that's how to draw Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshi hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one